The good old brewing station. I just noticed though, my minecart won't come. If you didn't notice, this thing is completely automatic. You just press some buttons and flip some levers. I already made some water breathing potions, but I can't send it to the lab. Oh man, it's been a while since I've been back here. This was one of my favorite builds, like my most complex first builds. And it was complex because once the minecart comes, before it reaches this point, I have to have it cross something to hold this hopper to stop pouring all the potions inside. And it was just complex for my knowledge at the time. Now I gotta follow this track. Where's this gonna take me? Oh lord. Into the bowels of my world. Whoa. I didn't upload Nomadic today it's because I'm having an issue with the texture pack on there. So I just thought I'd upload this if you're curious. Uh, what the? Oh, there it is. Wait, it's there waiting to go. Why didn't it come? Maybe I messed up this. Oh, the redstone's gone. Well, that's probably the problem. <laughs> what? Man, I really messed up something. All right, now it should work. Let's see. Oh, I hear something. <laughs> there it is. So once it enters here, it locks this hopper. It's able to drop all them potions in. Goes back over that, unlocks the hopper so these potions can pour back in so it's reset and ready to go. So yeah, it's basically all automated. You always want to keep this lever on and then flip the one you want. And then you can obviously add it to the negative effect or more power, I mean more power and longer or even splash. And then of course it is added into the survival lab to this machine. And then these stack up the more the chests are filled up. Wow, it's working. That makes me happy now. <laughs> but yes, welcome back to our Let's Play. We're on episode 322. Jeez. I think we're going to reach a thousand. <laughs> that is such a crazy number to think of. Who knows what I'm going to be doing in the future on this world. But one thing I want to work on, someone reminded me of it, and over there where we had the big nether reactor explosion, I was going to add some like toxic waste puddles, and I think it would be a perfect addition over here. So I think somewhere out right here, I'm going to make an extruding pipe, and it's going to be leaking a material, because we don't really care about the environment here at Slime Science Center. All we care about is... Advancing our technologies. How does it look? You know what? I really like it, but I feel like it needs to go up a few blocks. Oh, dang it. No, maybe not. Doesn't need to fall. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why I love basalt blocks. It looks like metal. Um, so I'm going to have a nasty green liquid come out of here, and I want to make all of this right here just a glowing green pond. Let's do it. It's going to require a lot of lava. All right, now we just want yellow and lime green stained glass. Hopefully I have some. Okay, it actually turned out all right. I didn't ever think about layering the glass as in switching the colors. I always did it just straight green, but this also kind of works. This adds more of like that yellow hue to it. And it would actually look better if I go deeper. I only used four layers of glass. I think it looks best with about six layers. And it also looks way better on Java because you can have the option for connected textures through Optifine. But I don't think this is finished. I think I want to put a few more over here and maybe over here. Uh, that just requires a lot of glass. That was about six stacks. And now that I think of it, I think I want to move this back a bit. Look, I cheaped out. I used torches, but I don't know what to do. I was thinking about building actually a building around this door, but it also looks kind of good just in the mountain like that. So one of my favorite statues in my world is actually my first statue, and that's this one for 10,000 subscribers. And I want to make my 300,000 one similar to this, maybe a little bit bigger, but doing something different in that globe over in the lab. I'm going to try to experiment with something. Okay, I'm testing it in my test world. And as cool as this looks, is it too small? If I go double, the, I can't really go one block bigger. I'd have to double it. So if you imagine the head one bigger, 
Wait, would it be like this? Or no, that's that's one bigger. Or should I make it where the head is? <laughs> Looks funny like that. Of course, having a bigger body, but... Okay, I guess I'll try that. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go with the small design, but keep the large platform. I kind of like this. I want him to hold that because I want it to look like it's a scientific version statue, but I want something in the other hand too, maybe a... No, maybe a beacon, maybe redstone because we... No, that just doesn't look... Well, what if we make like a a big redstone thing? Huh? Uh, that looks weird. <laughs> Do the dragon egg. Okay, I think I came up with one. It's similar to the last one you just saw, but he's holding something different in his right hand. I think that is a neutron star, maybe? <laughs> I actually really like it. I went with stone at first, like I'm holding a giant stone ball that would probably replicate the earth because I mixed in with some cobblestone, but it just didn't look right. And then I just threw in that on my creative world and I'm like, that looks pretty good actually. <laughs> what do you think? I think that'll do for now. It fits the science center pretty well. Dedicated to 300,000 subscribers reached on that date. I kind of like it. I mean, I could go off and build something extremely huge or I could keep it simple and have it in a place that we cross through a lot. I like that better. What is your purpose now? Like, what are they doing with these guys? Are they gonna have a purpose? Or are they just completely useless now? As you can see, I have been mining some more. <laughs> Quite a lot. This is our pile now. I think that it looks around like 20. And that is pretty insane, but I have also been mining a ton. And I could go up actually another level and mine right above this level I'm at now because I'm at the lowest level. This probably wasn't the smartest idea because I find a lot of ancient debris right here. And then there could have been some that spawned below it, but it won't. Ooh, damage level. I'm breaking. Sometimes I forget what I put in these chests. Whole stack of TNT, that would come in handy. Okay, so all I have left is my blue jeans. Now from my regular diamond armor, I always had a set that I used. Oh yeah, also I had traveler's trousers. Whoa, where's everything? Oh yeah, we retired two pieces. I guess it is time. We need to build this gear. Let's go get the pants and the boots. Whoa, did they add sound effects? Oh wait. No, I always get teased by it. That's just the beginning of one of the nether songs. Dang it. <laughs> okay, ah! Okay, guess how many are right here? Just from looking at it like this. See if you get it right. By the way, be careful when you die in the nether when your main food source is pork chops. I died with a full stack to piglins. I came back and they stole all of it. <laughs> 26! Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh wait, you could just wait until I'm done mining and then type 26. Never mind. <laughs> Holy crap. See how fast you go up ladders in this? <laughs> I guess we'll be needing some of this. Wait, can you cook this in normal furnaces? Oh, well, you can. I think it should only go in a blast furnace. It just makes sense considering how hard this is. Never tested that either. I have six levels. How much? None. Okay, you just get none. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have 28. Oh my gosh. Grab that. I can't believe... Oh my... I could make another right block. I can make seven. How come? Oh. Oh yeah, it requires four. I can't make a netherite. Oh my gosh. Okay, when I said I can, I'm going to make a beacon, uh, that might be a little more difficult than I thought. Okay. Pants and... Wait, what do you... Oh, diamonds. <laughs> Boots and pants. See what I mean? They have like a little arch on them right there. It looks kind of cool. Oh, we still have five left over. What does it look like again? Oh no, the front, sir. It looks it's more like a shin plate. Holy crap, there it is. I want to put it on. Blue jeans, you can go in there. Turtles are still not fixed, by the way. I'm so annoyed by that. <laughs> that helmet looks so cool. Now, I wonder, since it has a high blast radius, will it actually protect against creepers on its own without blast protection pretty well? God, that's so cool. Uh, well, of course we have to enchant it, but I have nowhere near the levels. And I'm also curious, does it protect you against fire a little bit better? I'm getting all fire protect. Imagine all of this with fire protection. 
Oh my god, I'd be invincible in the nether. Yeah, it's all... Okay. I won't want to get fire protection. I want to put normal protection on it, get my feather falling and all that. Which is why we are not going to wear it yet. But I want to go ahead and make the other tools. Okay, so get this. I had another Minecraft dream of this world. They come so rarely, but I'm so happy when... They this one was kind of sad, though. I had a dream that I had all of these, and this is 100% true, all of these in my inventory, and I remember specifically my building box, and what happened? There was a bug. Yes, I dreamed of a bug that all of these got mixed up with an empty one I had in my inventory, and then I went to open my favorite one, which is this, because it has all the cool stuff, and it was empty. And I got really sad, and I didn't have a backup. End of story. Yes, it was a nightmare. It's so tempting. I want to make an axe for the fun of it. Oh, look how good that looks. Whoa, I've never even looked at the axe before. Yo, that actually looks really cool. Plus seven attack damage. Oh, plus 12. I thought axes did a lot of damage. I thought they did more. Did they, they really didn't add that yet? Or is that only with the combat update? Well, we'll try to get a few enchanted today. I just need a, what are these? They're on some fire, cool. Oh, I need feather falling. Yeah, see, look how much it glows from here. I don't know what it is. There's something about making map walls in this game I really like about. I just wish we had that option like Java where you can put banner locations on your map to mark places. That would help so much. This forest scares me. I don't know if you remember, but there used to be a bug in this game. <laughs> there used to be a lot of bugs in this game, but there used to be this one where when you joined back in your world, you spawn way high in the sky. We didn't have elytra wings then. You just fall to your death. You didn't know where you fell, so when you respawn, you couldn't gather your things. I remember losing some really good stuff from that. Well, I forgot about this little room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is for the cactus farm. I used to have it collect in here, but then I had it. I need to check on that, actually. I replaced all these with slime blocks. They used to, I changed them out for honey blocks, but you take damage on them. You never take damage on slime blocks, so... Oh, yeah, all three are filled up. How are we looking on cactus? <laughs> and this is a fine example of why Dallas never really liked automated farms. It's just too much. I think I've said this before, because now that makes it where I never have to go out and get cactus. That's one less thing I have to do in Minecraft now, and that's and that's one step closer to getting more bored in a world. So if you're curious why you're getting bored in your world, maybe you have too many automatic things. Okay, we got 35 levels. Let's see what our options are. Wait, should I make more tools? Smite! No. Everything else is fire protection. Gotta do a book. Ew. Mm. Mm. No. Still nothing good. Ah. Oh. Just get... Please, feather falling. Thank you. Ah. Uh, I mean, blast protection isn't bad, but I'm trying to build the perfect gear. I don't know why I did that. I should go for all protection for enchants. Because I have feather falling in here, I could just throw that on. That was a noob mistake. Wait a minute. I can just reset it. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> but I did just find some books for my boots. Oh, God. Is that the third anvil that broke in, like, the past few episodes? <laughs> you know what? This room has been through so much. When I first made it, it was actually pretty nice. It kind of was more of the size of this hallway. It came through here. It went right to this spawner, and it was just like a tiny hallway, and it was nice, but then I was like, I want to redesign it. So I tried something, and it, was, and it was actually like a completed wall. It was like made out of green clay, but then I didn't like that, so I tore it down, and then it's been at this state for literally years. <laughs> so since it's been at this state, I'm just going to make it look old and crumbled and just kind of fix it up in a bad way. Okay, I fixed it up a little bit. I still like making it look really trashy. You know, it's kind of similar, the same. Just added a table, moved the enchantment table a bit. Kind of added some shelves to put some of the important stuff in. And I always go AFK right here and I have to put a few blocks. I can't believe I've gone so long just doing that. So I just made a 
little reading room. <laughs> Just to wait it out. Uh, we're at 39 levels now, though. Uh, I'm gonna kill the rest of these guys real quick. Make that 40 levels. So I'm just gonna play around with enchanting. I'm not gonna show you all of it because I can get boring after a while. Just show you what I end up with. Because now I remember, I can just take the enchantment off if I don't like it. I am so poor. I have no iron to my name. The only iron- oh my god. <laughs> I'm so poor I even took a chunk out of this. Dang it, man. I'm thinking next episode of this world, I have to do a big mining adventure. Just huge. I need iron. Oh, wait. Is that what that button means? Whoa. I didn't even notice that before. I messed up. I'm trying to write out what my nether... I missed an E right there. What's that do? Copy? Trash it? Move it? Oh, you can move... That's cool. What is that? Uh-oh. What did I just do? Okay, they add all these customizable options, but you still can't edit it. <laughs> Dang it. I gave up. <laughs> Through cycling about 30 to 50 different enchants, I couldn't even find a protection for this or a simple efficiency for this. And every enchantment I got on these were all one enchants. This game really hates Dallas. <laughs> but I did get enough book enchants, so we have one breaking on that. And I have protection, feather falling, and depth strider. And those are the exact ones I want. So... Our boots are finished. Well, since they are black, I'll call them my combat boots. I will have these finished before next episode. This episode might be a bit shorter than usual. I apologize. I just, I still have school going on um, on online classes and I have to write a whole five page paper and it's due in six hours. <laughs> Talk about procrastination. Um, I'll go ahead and answer today's comment that I have not wrote yet. From Timor Arafa, what inspired you to make a lab in Minecraft? So, I feel a lot of people have nailed it. Like, it's kind of obvious to some. But the obvious answer to most is not actually most of the inspiration. But it's a lot of it, so I'm sure you've seen Yogg Labs before. And if you haven't, shame on you. But my biggest inspiration from Yogg Labs is actually the main hall, like this, because... In their Yogg Labs, they have one giant hall with doors on the sides, and that's kind of how I got the main layout of it. But of course, like, these parts, like, all over this way, that's all, like, my design. I just drew inspiration from having one large hallway with a lot of rooms on the sides. But I've always wanted to implement a modern build into my world, since our house is kind of like a fantasy Victorian. I thought the lab would be a perfect place to start, because everything is going to be futuristic in it. Well, I wouldn't even say it's futuristic. I think this is pretty modern. But since I've been playing this game for so many years, I thought it would be really fun to make these rooms where I can learn more about Minecraft, which we really haven't done yet. Well, the bee study. What else? That's about all. <laughs> well, villagers too. Um, but yeah, that's another reason why I want to actually implement more rooms where I will learn myself. Because as of right now, I think most of the rooms in this place aren't really used. Oh yeah, I have the potion lab. But I already know most things about potions, so we gotta start implementing stuff like a room where we can test netherite gear. It's how much blast resistance it has, how long it lasts in lava, which is probably infinite. Just small stuff like that I'd like to learn. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here and get this paper done. Hey, at least my, my paper has to be about some sort of film analysis, but she said I could choose a book or a game, so I chose Fallout 4 because I love the story in that. <laughs> so at least I'll have fun writing it. I really wanted to get this room done next, but I, I just don't have the time. But I thank you for watching. If you're still here at the end, type Figglehorn in the comments to confuse everyone. To show that you watched to the end. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye-bye.